Good morning all. Welcome to Exam Nurse 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers on 13th October 2022. Do watch the video till the end. We will ask you a question at the end of this video. Please type your answer in comment section. Let's begin. Which state or unitary has announced India's first cadaver slender lorry sanctuary? Tamil Nadu. In a first in the country, Tamil Nadu government notified cadaver slender lorry sanctuary covering 11,806 hectares in Karur and Dindigal districts. Let's talk about the slender lorises. The slender lorises are a genus of lorries native to India and Sri Lanka. Listed as an endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, slender lorries has a wide range of ecological roles to play in the terrestrial ecosystem. Tamil Nadu government will also set up India's first Duong Conservation Reserve. Note on this point, highly important. Tamil Nadu will set up India's first Duong Conservation Reserve to protect marine species. Tamil Nadu government will also set up India's first cardboard slender lorry sanctuary. Let's talk about Tamil Nadu. Where is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Chennai. Who is the chief minister of Tamil Nadu? M.K. Stalin. Who is the governor of Tamil Nadu? R.N. Devi. Let's move to next question. Who has chaired the panel that formed by Union government? To study the WHO reports on deaths linked to four Indian syrups, Dr. Y.K. Gupta, the government formed a four-member panel to examine the adverse event reports from the WHO on the deaths of 66 children in the Gambia being linked potentially to the four Made in India cup syrups. The Gambia is a country in West Africa. The four-member committee of technical experts is chaired by Dr. Y.K. Gupta. Vice Chairperson Standing National Committee on Medicines. The other three members are Dr. Prakya D. Yadav, Dr. R. D. Bal, and A. K. Pradhan. Let's talk about the WHO. The World Health Organization is a specialist agency of the United Nations responsible for international public health. It founded on 7th April 1948, where is the headquarters of WHO, Geneva, Switzerland. Who is the Director General of WHO, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus? Who is the Secretary General of UN, Antonio Guterres? Telemanus Initiative is associated with which health service? Mental Health. The Government of India has launched a 24 times 7 telemental health service called Telemanus. Telemanus stands for the Telemental Health Assistance at Networking Across States. It is based on Karnataka's initiative of the same, eManus. eManus, the teleconsulting program, was launched by Karnataka during the lockdown of COVID-19. The Telemanus service will start with 20 states and union territories and will subsequently be expanded to the entire country. What is the aim of this initiative? It aims to increase access to mental health care across the country, including the hard-to-reach areas. The network will provide consultation, counseling with a specialist and a e-prescription. The union government aims to open at least one telemanus cell in each state or union territory. Not on these important points. Let's move to next question. Which state or union territory has launched India's first FIFA initiated football for all campaign? Odisha. Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik launched football for all campaign to promote the sports in the state. The program in Odisha has been initiated by FIFA in partnership with. Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology and Kalinga Institute of Social Science. This is the first such program by the FIFA to promote football in India. Let's talk about FIFA. FIFA is an international governing body of association football. 
beach football and futsal India is hosting FIFA under 17 women's world cup for the first time note down this point FIFA founded on 21st May 1904 where is the headquarters of FIFA Zurich Switzerland who is the president of FIFA Gianni Infantino Let's talk about Odisha where is the capital of Odisha Bhubaneswar who is the chief minister of Odisha Navin Patnaik who is the governor of Odisha Ganeshi Lal So which state or united they has launched India's first FIFA initiated football for all campaign Odisha I am of has cut down India's GDP growth forecast to what percent in financial year 2022 2023 6.8% The International Monetary Fund has announced another cut to its gross domestic product growth forecast for India for the current financial year this time by 60 basis points to 6.8% At 6.8%, the IMF forecast is below that of the Reserve Bank of India. On September 30, RBI has lowered its growth forecast for India by 20 basis points to 7%. This is RBI growth forecast for India. That is 7%. And this is IMF growth forecast for India, 6.8%. Note down this important point. One basis point is one hundredth of a percentage point. That means twenty basis point means point two percent. Let's talk about the gross domestic product. Gross domestic product is the monetary value of all finished goods and services made within a country during a specific period. What is the importance of GDP? GDP provides an economic snapshot of the country used to estimate the size of an economy and growth rate. Let's talk about IMF. IMF is a major financial agency of the United Nations that promotes global economic growth and financial stability, encourages international trade and reduces poverty. It formed on 27th December 1945. Where is the headquarters of IMF, Washington D.C.? Who is the managing director of IMF, Kristalina Georgieva? Who is the chief economist of IMF, Pierre Oliver Garinges? World Arthritis Day observed on October 12. World Arthritis Day is observed on 12th October every year. and it is a global health awareness event that helps create awareness about rheumatic and musculoskeletal diseases let's talk about arthritis arthritis is a painful condition which affects your one or more joints it leads to joint pain and stiffness which hamper day to day activities of the patient what is the theme of world arthritis day 2022 it is in your hand take action who has appointed as the chief justice of Rajasthan High Court Justice Pankaj Mittal Justice Pankaj Mittal has been appointed as chief justice in Rajasthan High Court Let's check the other two important appointments Justice Pankaj B Varley has been appointed as the Karnataka High Court's chief justice Justice A M Magri appointed as the chief justice of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh Who is the Minister of Law and Justice? Kiran Rijiju. Who is the Chief Justice of India? Justice Uday Umesh Lalit. Note down these important points. Who has become the youngest medalist of 2022 National Games? Shaurajit Kere. Gujarat's 10-year-old boy Shaurajit Kere created history, becoming the youngest medalist of the 36th National Games. when he clinched the bronze medal in pole malakam 36 national games hosted by gujarat goa will host the 37th national games in 
not on this point also. Goa will host the 37th National Games. Let's move to next question. Who has taken charge as all-time member of SEBI? Anand Narayan Gopal Krishnan. Former banker Anand Narayan Gopal Krishnan took charge as the fourth all-time member in the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI. These are the other three all-time members of SEBI. He has also been a member of various advisory committees constituted by SEBI and Reserve Bank of India. Let's talk about SEBI. The Securities and Exchange Board of India is a regulatory body for securities and commodity market in India under the ownership of Ministry of Finance. It founded on 12th April 1992, where is the headquarters of SEBI, Mumbai, who is the chairperson of SEBI, Madhabi Puri Bhak, who is the Minister of Finance, Nirmala Sidharaman. Let's check previous day question and answer. Which bank has ended World Book of Records for 101 Unjels? South Indian Bank. South Indian Bank bagged a world record for staging and swinging the highest 101 Unjels. The bank organized an event on Nichirikyam Unjalada and was accolade with the World Book of Records Award for staging and swinging 101 Unjels. Let's talk about South Indian Bank. It founded in the year 1928, where is the headquarters of South Indian Bank, Trishur, Kerala. Who is the CEO of South Indian Bank, Murali Ramakrishnan. Let's check question of the day. Which state has won the women's football title at National Games 2022? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points about current affairs today. If the video find helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Also leave your feedback in the comment section. To get daily current affairs, follow Examiner 365. See you tomorrow. Bye.